Hey guys, um, welcome. In this video, we're going to program um, a Newton's method in Fortran. And so, as you can see, I've made a file uh, called newtonmethod.f90. And if we open that file, I haven't put anything in it yet. Um, but let's just look at the, the math that we're going to do for making this program. Um, so, you know, the idea with Newton's method is we want to find the root of some equation, f of x equals to zero. Um, and we do that by giving an initial guess, x zero. And it can be found from uh, this iteration. Okay, so we plug in x zero, we subtract this ratio of f over f prime, and that gives us the new uh, x in the sequence and then we plug it back in to this equation and generate the second term in the sequence and so on and so forth um, i'm not going to get into the math behind this but we're just going to implement this into fortran um, and specifically we're going to do a specific example so we're going to find the root of x squared minus 2 equals to 0 and this uh, newton's method looks like this okay so Here's our original function in the numerator, and the derivative is in the denominator. Okay, so this is what we want to do. So um, in the uh, in the file, so I made a file Newton method dot f ninety. Um, in Fortran, we begin the code um, by calling it program. And we give the name of the program, say, uh, Newton method. Okay. And we want to end program, Newton method. And I have some kind of issue with the color schemes. I'm just going to save it and reopen it again. Okay, so now the color seems to be working properly. Um, so the, our uh, code is going to go inside this uh, program. And in Fortran, we want to declare any uh, variables that we're going to be using in the code at the beginning. So um, we do this. We want to work with real numbers. Um, and we do this by taking real of kind equals 8. So kind equals 8 means we're going to use double precision. OK, so this will give us digits of accuracy to around like 16 digits of accuracy. Um, if you did kind equals four, that would be single precision. And so you'd get about eight digits of accuracy. Okay, but we're going to do eight. Okay, and while we're working with xn, and we, gen we go up to xn plus one, um, but really we, we're just, we just care about the final result. So we want our Newton method to converge to some value. Um, so we're going to work with x new and x old okay so we'll have an old value we plug in to get the new value and then we take the new value we it, it becomes the old value we plug it in we generate a new value again okay um, we also will want to declare the function f i'm just going to call it f and we'll also want f prime okay so these are the variables we're going to work with um, and well, if we just jump into it, we can start with a, a while loop. So we want to iterate until our iteration converges. Okay. So we want to do something and we'd say do while, and this, as long as this condition inside is true. Okay. So assuming we have not converged, we want to loop. Okay. Um, and we do that by checking how close x new and x old get to each other. So we do that by taking the absolute value of x new minus x old. Okay, so this abs, this is an intrinsic function which will give us the absolute value. Okay, and we want it to, it should be greater than some tolerance. So we do that by dot ge dot 
and we're going to prescribe some tolerance. Okay. Um, and this is something else I have not yet declared. So we're going to add it into the beginning. It's going to be a real number um, up to 16 digits of accuracy. We'll call it tolerance. Um, and we can, you can actually declare it at the beginning. So I can already set what it should be equal to. Um, and I'll write 1.D minus seven. Okay, so this is actually the same as writing 10 to the negative seven. Okay, so 10 to the negative seven, you use the double star for exponentiation. And this dot D, it's just, um, it, it also means the double precision. Okay, so I typically in my code, when, anytime I'm working with some number that is double precision, I always put a dot D just to emphasize that um, it, we are working with um, this double precision. Um, typically the compiler will know if I were to just put, um, well, let's not get into that right now. Um, we need to do it in this way, okay? So here's the tolerance that we've set. And so if x new and x old uh, get close enough to each other, so they're less than the tolerance, then we'll exit the while loop, okay? And if we exit the while loop, we'll want to write, uh, display the root on the screen. And you can do that by writing this kind of code. So the root is, um, this is the syntax for writing uh, x new. Okay, you can do this write star comma star and that'll display on your uh, window. And we'll display x new. Okay, uh, so in here we have the main, um, the main uh, numerical method that we're doing to find this root. So we need uh, f, so f is x old squared minus two, okay? And we'll also want the derivative. So f prime is equal to two times x old, okay? And lastly, we'll want to do the iteration. So we're gonna put x new equals to uh, x old minus f divided by f prime. Okay, so this is the Newton method here. Okay, but we need to um, handle the switching. We have to, the new, uh, x new will eventually become x old. Um, so I find there are different ways that you can program this, but personally I will change it at the beginning. So I will set x old to be equal to x new at the beginning. Okay, so if x old and x new are the same, we'll compute f, we'll compute f prime, and we'll generate x new. Then we go, it loops back to the beginning and we compare x old with x new, and we repeat the process. Okay, and now currently, um, we don't have a way to get into this while loop so we need to declare what is x old and what is x new. Um, and really, you can do this, you know, many different, maybe maybe several different ways. Um, but I'll just set x old to be, say, 2. Um, and x new, uh, this is what uh, our actual guess will be. Because if you notice, at the very beginning when we enter the loop, x new x old becomes x new, okay? And so maybe the best guess for, um, to start this Newton's method is to use one, okay? That's just some guess, it, it should be fine enough to do. Um, and if we do that, we can run this computation. Okay, so notice that two minus one, the absolute value of two minus one is greater than the tolerance. Okay, and so this is the Newton method here. So let's exit out of the program. 
and let's see if it works on the first try. So I have the compiler G Fortran and I can, an easy way to just compile it is to type G Fortran and then the F90 file. Uh, and I spelled G Fortran wrong. Let's try that again, G Fortran and hit enter. Okay, and then nothing happens. And if you notice, um, let's clear this. We now have an a.out file. And so we can run the a.out file and we have our root. And you can see that this is the root we expect um, because the root of our equation is going to be square root of two. Okay, so if you notice here, we're doing x squared equals two. So we expect the root to be square root of two. And you can check um, with your calculator or whatever that this is in fact the root that we're looking for.